it's very, very easy for me to be critical of John Moran's dad who's sitting there because courtside because the son can afford to help him get the tickets and because he looks like Usher. And I've heard Stephen A. Smith say, hey, man, you're his dad, not his boy. He's right. We can point to the Memphis Grizzlies, who, if you don't have an eye on your best player, like the idea of being a wannabe thug, and and that's really what it is, right? Like, if that wasn't shut down a whole long time ago, uh, then some of it is on the Grizzlies' hands. But I'll tell you where a lot of this blame needs to go. Two places. Adam Silver and John Morant himself. That's it. Adam Silver because, like, look, there's a reason. There's a reason that discipline policies are needed in all sports leagues. And if you pay way too much attention to all of these idiots who work in my business, who act like, Players are somehow treated poorly when they're when they're held in check for their misbehaviors or the people they surround themselves with. You just you're you're forgetting the history of the league. Right? If you think what John Moran's doing, like I do, that he's a clown and a fool because he's liking himself to being a gangster when he could be worth a billion dollars by the end of this whole thing. You'll also probably remember back to the post-Jordan NBA NBA, when it was the same thing. You know, Kobe didn't post a a video of himself with a gun, but he tried to be Hood. Allen Iverson did as well. The embarrassing part is like most of the guys in the league are not only professionals, they're grown-ups, they're businessmen, they're thoughtful, you have great conversations with them, and this reflects poorly to where because Jaw's a young up and coming star, you're like, well, that's how most guys, that's how those guys really are. Like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Go go to the young players, the young stars in the league. It's not how they're wired in any way. But if you don't like the NBA, only fuel to the fire. And this is on Adam Silver. Right? You you want to change the name owners of teams to governors. Because somebody's feelings are hurt because you're like, well, there's a likening to the to slaves. Like, no, it's not. You own a business. You own the rights to people, who, you know, to people who work for you. That's it. You don't own it for life. It's not slave labor. They're being handsomely compensated, flying around in private jets, getting over $100 a day in per diem, staying in the nicest hotels on earth. They're fine. But the lack of willingness to say, hey, this is not the way it goes. This is not the way. Even when it came down from the NBA, there wasn't a, hey, we're suspending him because he's acting like a clown. It was, he's stepping away. Like, what? No, you're suspending him. He's in Denver. He's in a club. And he's not only dumb enough to have a gun, he's dumb enough to have a gun while drinking booze and putting himself on IG Live. Like, dude. And no one gets caught the first time, right? That's the old, no one gets caught the first time. But the the breadcrumb trails that he leaves, posting on IG Live, two days removed, actually a day and a half removed from when the Washington Post releases the story, which is like, hey, John Morant kind of acting like a wannabe thug here, allegedly beating up some kid in Memphis at his house, playing pickup ball. And then somebody with a laser pointer, maybe a laser sight for a gun, and the Pacers organization looking into that. Like, you'd think when a story comes out like that and you're kind of visible and you're and Nike's launching your first shoe, you know, you'd kind of think, you kind of think you'd like lay low. No, no, let's post a video with me clubbing, fine, drinking, whatever, with a gun. Dumbass. But, but like, this is what happens when you allow things to fester. That's it. I mean, a lot of things to fester. You know? I mean, like, look, people want to, cri- you, you want to criticize all these different things when, when someone in charge is like, we have to appear like we're grownups here. This is a profession here. You already have guys who, remember, this is the same commissioner 
who came out and said, you know, like, oh, I don't really think the guys missing games is all that big a thing. If you look at the numbers, ticket sales are up and blah, 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 blah. Like, you don't think it's a problem? It's a joke. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a farce. Prices are higher than ever to go to the games. All the games are on TV for free. And yet we have no idea who's going to play in those games. Like I, I did the Duke Carolina game on radio. I fly back. I land in LA. I got kind of nothing to do till the afternoon. And a buddy of mine shoots me a text. He's like, Hey man, you want to go to like Laker game? Let's, let's go and get some tickets. I was like, I don't even know who's playing. Right, Steph played the Lakers won. Anthony Davis was awesome, but LeBron didn't play. Like, I don't know who's playing. Like, I, am I going to play through the nose when I don't know who's playing? No. And then you come to John Morant. But, but a lot of this just comes down to like, what, did, what are you doing? What are you doing? Even the idea of wanting to be a rapper, one like, and, and obviously Damian Lillard, it's a different level to it. You know, D- Damian Lillard raps, but he's also clearly a family guy that goes home and <laughs> records at his house and seems to have all his stuff in order as a workout fanatic. But, dude, you you want to be a thug rapper. You know, those are the guys who are actually killed, right? Like, you know, it, it's there's there's not a long lifespan for gangsters. There's not there's not like an old ga- there's not like an OG uh, OG retirement home. I just, it's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. That's really what it comes down to. And if you go back a year ago, you'd have a hard time finding anybody say anything bad about John Morant. And now, as one of the faces of the league, a guy who's got a Nike shoe coming out, he's a dominant player on a team that's on the rise. Like, we didn't even talk about the whole thing where, you know, we're the best team in the West. Like, dude, you haven't won anything. Forget about all that. The idea that you would post that video live a day and a half after there's a, there's a, a nationally publicized story about the people you're surrounding yourself with, guns and potential for violence. You, you're so, you have completely lost yourself, bro. And you, most people think you kind of expose yourself as an idiot. And it reflects poorly on all those other guys, 98%, 99% of them that are incredible dudes that have no real issues. I just, I'm really bothered by it. Maybe it's because I got all my eggs in the job basket thinking he's a great player. Maybe it's because it's like you're taking the WWE tough guy persona of the Grizzlies on the floor and trying to make it into some real life thing. Or maybe it's because if you're too dumb to realize that having a gun is, is, you know, and waving it around is a dumb thing, then posting it on IG Live a day and a half removed, like, I have just completely lost any respect for your level of emotional intelligence. 